Welcome to the Art Lady's Home. Today I'm going to show you how I planted up these uh, sun-loving summer planters to add bright pops of color to Zone 9 summer landscape. I have three of these planters that are against the screen room wall and I'm about to plant them up with some tropicals, a pretty good sun-loving uh, summer uh, plants that will survive hopefully the summer. Um, right now we ha we're having a blazing hot summer. It's not even the end of May yet. Today was almost 100 degrees here in Zone 9 and very little rain this spring. So uh, I'm anticipating a really hot summer. So I'm going to plant up some uh, really drought tolerant type sun plants that are um, very little care. Um, I have the Mexican heather that I'm going to be using. There's a filler right here. And then I have the little white, uh, little yellow varieties. And right now, there's the flat of them right here. They are closed for the night because it's uh, about 7.30, 8 o'clock. And uh, they close up during the night. Uh, but in the morning and afternoon, they're all, they open up. Um, they're a type of a por portulaca plant. They're a variety of the portulaca in its purslane. That's what they're called here. And they do love, uh, direct sun, low water, um, so they can tolerate the drought or tolerate um, low, con low water conditions in pots. And I also, here's the Mexican heather here, you can see, uh, direct sun, six plus hours. They do well in containers too, they're a good little foot filler plant. So we're going to try these out in the planters for the summer, and I thought that it would give some nice color uh, from the pool, poolside view. And I'm, I'm also going to be using this quarter line variety here. Um, it has a little bit smaller leaves than the regular quarter line. I'll show you what uh, the other quarter line looks like. Yeah, I was told it was a variety of a quarter line. It's another variety of the quarter line. This one, the leaves are a little bit bigger compared to the one I just purchased. And I purchased the other one from a garden center, and so he told me that it was a type of a variety, variety of a quarter line. This one doesn't get as much uh, light so the colors aren't as red. The red comes from the amount of light it gets. Let me show you another part of one growing behind here. But these leaves are definitely a lot bigger. The first thing I'm going to do is remove uh, the plant that I have in this existing pot. And then I'm going to prepare the soil. And then I'll start planting and I'll show you as I plant. Okay, I've just removed the plant, the existing plant that was in here, and now I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of fresh soil here in it first, just a little bit, the bottom, and now I'm going to get the quarter line. I'm just going to tap that a little bit and pull it out. I want the good stuff to go in the pot right there. Ooh, there's not a lot of room in here. I may pull, I'm gonna divide this. And so these were freshly rooted, so they were easy for me to pull apart. Yeah, we don't need all of them in there. What's that guy? Wow, this is heavily fertilized. So I may skip putting my own in. It's rooted pretty good though. Okay, so I'm sticking that in. And now I wanna get the Mexican heather in. I'm gonna place that. I kinda want this centered. So I'm gonna do a heather on this side. Right there, these are smaller pots so I think that'll be fine. I'm gonna do a heather on each side and in the front, I'm gonna do the portulaca variety so it can hang over. The purslane. So these are very delicate. So I'm gonna stick this one in here, right in here first. I may, 
I want to remove some of this soil here. Okay. There. And I'm going to move my heather over. Yeah, these are really delicate. They break. I think I just broke this guy. They break really easy. So I'm going to be a little bit careful. Now I'm going to put some soil in on this side. And after I water it, I may have to go tomorrow and add a little bit more soil in here. I don't want to tamp it down too hard around that for tonight. I think that's all I'm going to get in the small version, the small pot. One on each side and then one front to back. I want it on the back side because I want it to view from the pool. I want to be able to see some of the yellow I'm going to remove some of this bottom. And a lot of this is just starter stuff. It looks basically like peat moss. I don't want all that in there. And again, I'm going to really carefully put this one in here. I'm going to do it with some, some of my good potting soil. And what I'm putting in is some fresh uh, bag potting soil. does have a little bit of fertilizer in it too. I'm tamping down on the sides where the two plants meet as best I can. There. And this will fill in in no time. But I don't want to overcrowd these. Okay. And then I'm going to put the last heather in on this side. And so we'll have little delicate purple blooms. And then we'll have this gorgeous magenta color, color coming up. And then this little yellow coming down. And I'll show you what it looks like tomorrow. Oh, this little guy. I'm just going to stick him in. He may root. I'm going to be real careful. Oh, this Heather's a little pop. Root bound. Quite root bound. The first one I had was pretty good. This one, you can see, is pretty root bound here. Let's see if I can scooch him in. I'll have to dig it up a little bit more. There. Let me fill in. Let me stick two of these in the front here. That one was a little small. Let me see if I have another one. I have enough. Some of them were a little broken as I brought them home. There's another one. Yeah. I have room, so I'll stick it in. to fill nicely. Set this back a bit. And here are the three planters that I planted. And I am very happy with them. And they are going to just look gorgeous once they fill in and spill over. Let me show you the center one, which is the larger one. I also threw in a collidium. It's a lime green with some magenta, which is gorgeous. Here. I thought it blended really well with the tall magenta plant. And once those Portulaca varieties start overflowing it's more gorgeous and they are very happy right now in this planter uh, they're plumped up um, and you can see they're already uh, they're opening the blooms are opening but they really needed to get out of those tiny little plants little pots they were um, I think they're getting a little too waterlogged but here is the overall look and this is the one I planted 
that you watch me plant. And I'm going to show you the back view here. So that's poolside. And then there they are. And here's the view from the gate and arbor at the street area as you come in. I wanted something a little along the fence or the screen room line, but I didn't want anything to block views. And so I think these are gonna look really pretty. Oh gosh, I just had a, <gasps> ooh, ooh, a lizard on my leg. And they're kind of hard to see inside because it's just casting a shadow right now. But here's the view from inside. So you can see it doesn't block too much of my garden, the views from the garden. It just gives a little bit of color inside. Here. Because I wanted to be able to see the planter, the hummingbird planter here. And once all the plants grow in along my fence, I want to see all that too. I wanted to be able to see that view. So I think it does the trick. Gives it a little bit of color and a little formal edge to the pool. And yet doesn't block views. 